Hey guys, welcome back to Thaumaturgy in the Sky with diamonds. Actually, I have all my diamonds are downstairs. So, Thaumaturgy in the Sky above my diamonds. Maybe? Maybe I should start all over again. So anyway, <clears throat> welcome back guys. And I have spent a little bit of time scanning everything. I spent hours literally opening up my monster spawner all of my Batania stuff, all of my computers, everything, and just scanning them all with a thaumeter, th th thaumometer, thaumometer, so that I can get more essences. And then I went ahead and did the, what was it, copper wand caps, not much to that one, and now I just completed a complicated one here which is research duplication. Now look at that. I'm sure there was a much easier way of doing it, but <laughs> Dalekian. All right, and what do we learn with research duplication? Um, don't see why I would want to do that, but cool. <clears throat> All of that, I think, was so that I could play multiplayer and share my information with other people. Because uh, it looks like it just duplicates completed research. Awesome. Oh, also notice here I have discovered the last, well, I don't know if it's the last, hopefully it's the last, which is Aurum. Aura. Magic and Air. So now I have the ability to do that, should I want. But I did promise you guys one thing that I would try to work on today was golems wearing hats. So here's golems, straw golems. Put my ink back in, and let's try to figure this out, and I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Ooh, look, there's a little star here now that means I can make two copies of it so that I can tell other people how to do it. Nope. Okay. Holy cow, that opened up a lot over there. Golem answers bell. So, straw golems. Alright, so I put together another one because I thought it sounded fun. Liquid death for external use only. Forbidden knowledge moderate. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and read that. Yep, that sound. Ooh, I have gained... Permanent warp, and I have gained warp. What is liquid death? This liquid is so dangerously toxic that virtually nothing can prevent it from dissolving flesh, bone, and even harder substances. Nothing alive or that even displays the semblance of life can survive it. Apart from obvious practical applications, this vile substance has another interesting property. Any essentia a dissolved creature possesses form into crystals that can be harvested. Hmm... Interesting. Holy cow. But I need 32 death, 32 chaos, and 32 poison in a crucible, and then a bucket in order to get it. Death comes from... Uh, death's not too hard, then. Four in those. Two per bone, so 11 bones will do it. 11 bones, give me death, um, chaos, there's, well that's not too tough, then 22 cobble, gives me enough chaos, and poison, Two in a potato or two in a spider eye. Po 
poison potato, that is. Poison potato. Okay, I have a notebook in front of me to remember all this stuff. <laughs> remember it all. <laughs> okay, so let's go find some... Let me check. Cobblestone bones and poison potatoes. Straight off the top of my head. Oh, and I'll also need a bucket. That statue amuses me way more than it should. You know, I need to make this closer to home. Alright. Look, there's seven more buckets. Spider eyes and bones. Nope. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say no bones? That was shocking. No, never mind. I have 1,565 bones. Six. Eleven bones. Spider eyes, I'm probably... Oh, that's not bad. Two. Eleven. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can make some liquid death. Because it's just the smartest thing to do, really. Nothing could possibly go wrong with a bucket of liquid death in my inventory. If I can even figure out how to work it. I think I just have to chuck all of these things into the crucible. And then throw in a bucket. And I think that's it. Oh, was there... Okay, so... Oh, bubbly. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! That looks scary. That looks very scary. <laughs> um... Um... <laughs> what does it do? Hank... I think maybe I unfortunately lost the... Wait, what? Ah! Ah! <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't know what's happening. And if that actually is liquid death, that could be very bad. There's bubbles every oh god. It's coming for me. Quick evacuate <laughs> Let's get another bucket and see if I can salvage this. I wasn't supposed to eat my bucket, it was supposed to fill my bucket. Is the top of my tower Okay, it looks okay still. Okay, um let me grab a just take all the buckets just just in case time to start bailing oh it's all purple up there oh yes mad scientist weather Oh. Okay, it has consumed another bucket. Is it poisonous? No. It's just a shining purple fountain now, as far as I can tell. Um. Oh, wait, maybe I have to hit it with a wand? Eh. Nope. Ah! Lightning. Thunder. No, oh, no! What is it doing? It's so strange! I... I... I...
Well, first foray, not so useful. No, ha! Oh, ah! Bah! Um. Okay. Wait. Oh, that's the wand. Oh, okay. Standing on top of my... Oh, I bet it's because I'm standing on top of a boiling crucible. Not because of the strange remnants of purple death floating everywhere. Maybe. Um, I think, on the other hand, my tower is forever strange and purple. So, as a thought, I had broken the block above the crucible to see if that would help, because it, it seemed to be hitting that block and stopping. So I wanted to replace the block, so I put a crafting table next to it so I had something to place the block against, and when I broke the crafting table, it fell in my crucible and was eaten. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Uh. There, I emptied it. <laughs> but I forever have random purple spill. Oh. <clears throat> it's good thing guys, you guys aren't counting on me to learn anything. Oh, I also have the flux flu. A chew. <laughs> Yes, I need to read more. Okay, now I know how to make night ore and uh, alum, alumentum. Oh, good. It may be unstable, but makes good fuel. It is probably not a good idea to throw it against a solid surface unless you enjoy explosions. Sounds safe. Woohoo, it worked! Okay, so I put in three coal, three silicone, three torches, and that gave me, what, potential uh, light and fire, light and fire, um, in order to make a night ore. Then a glowstone in makes a night ore. Now what night ore can do, there's a couple of things. The first thing it can do, though, is it's placeable little glowy fire, so it creates light like torches, but looks a million times cooler. Okay, so I came back upstairs after a little bit of um, work downstairs and found this. There seems to be more purple, and it almost looks like smoke rising up from my cauldron here and filling my roof. Um, doesn't look good. Ah, ow, ow, hot cauldron, hot cauldron. Did I leave something extra? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, uh, so the next thing I need to do is table, and then I need to hit the table with the wand. Boop. Oh, I need my wand back. And I now have an arcane work table. And does he have to. Insufficient vis. Drawing at random. Okay, how do I get this into a wand? Book. Oh, book! Tell me things. After some research, I'm not going to say that I did all the research, but after some research, why am I all glowy? 
um, after some research found that killing monsters can give you essence. Vis in my wand. So on the top left there you see my wand. I found an air node down below and that filled that one up. That's why that first node there, or first little uh, tube on the wand is full up. And then I have a tiny bit of green and a tiny bit of blue from killing a zombie. Because zombies are made of green and blue. Look at them. They're wearing blue pants and a greenish shirt. So that makes perfect sense. Um, now I need things wearing red. Things wearing red. Hi guys. And I don't know why, but my hearts are all runic and shiny. Hi guys, how's it going? Ah, ah, spider, spider. Nope, baby, baby, not spider, baby. You know, when you got a place around like the Fungin, it certainly doesn't take a whole lot of patience. I expect it to fill a lot slower than this. Oh, oh. That is a conga line. Oh! oh son of a monkey. Okay. Well, that was fun and exciting, and my wand is pretty good, except for the one element that doesn't fill for some reason. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's full on everything else. My hearts are still a little bit runic, and I don't know why. So, let's go see, and if this is enough to make what I need it to make. So, do I have the... Yeah, I do. Got a couple of arrows, too. So that's easy though, at least we know we can fill it quite easily by just running a hallway of the fungin and fill it up. And then, you know, going back in to repair everything and stuff like that. Alright, so that is more than enough out of each of those elements to make me that. And I also want to, oh, um, let's uh, make another one because I can and... I mm. also want to make alright guys I think that's where I'm going to leave you for now um, I also built this little puppy an arcane lamp which is supposed to create good light and then also generate random light in nearby areas so it has random extra torches i guess but I, I don't know i haven't really tried it out much i put one down here too just to see what happens but so far they're just light so anyway guys i want to say thanks for joining me and it was a fairly eventful day. We definitely got some uh, time in on our Thomcraft, and we learned how to do some stuff in the Crucible. Got a couple of those figured out. We got the luggage here. Hi, luggage. Nothing in them. I always worry that the luggage is going to get in trouble, so I keep them away a lot of the time. Hi, luggage. I see him. So guys, I wanted to say thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.